An income statement records company's revenue, expenditures and net profit or loss for a given period. Whereas balance sheet reports company's assets, liabilities, and shareholder equity. There is a connection between balance sheet and income statement. Let's explore the relationship in detail. To understand the relationship between income statement and balance sheet, I would recommend watching previous videos on financial statements. Assuming you developed good understanding, it's time to explore relation between income statement and balance sheet. Let's work through each line on income statement and balance sheet to establish a connection. Typical income statement and balance sheet looks like this. You will notice these line items for every company's income statement and balance sheet. Let's begin with revenue from operation. When company makes sale of products or services, it receives money. Company can get paid immediately or a later due date if sale is done on credit. The income received from sale of products or services is invested into financial assets. This is recorded as assets on balance sheet. These financial assets can be current assets or non-current assets depending on maturity, duration and type of financial assets. On the other side, the sale done on credit generates accounts receivable on balance sheet. Account receivables are classified as current assets. Next line on income statement is other income. Remember from income statement, other income is generated from various sources like dividend, interest on investment, sale of subsidiary companies, rental income and so on. This is essentially the income generated from activities other than company's core business. Financial assets on balance sheet generates income in form of dividend and interest. Income associated with such financial investments is shown as other income. Let's get into details of few other line items on expense side. When a company makes a sale, it incurs expenses for manufacturing products or providing services. If company purchases raw material or stocks in trade on credit, this will create financial liabilities as trade payable on balance sheet. Selling product requires business to carry an inventory of products. Company can sell product manufactured in current financial year or sometimes it takes several years to complete the sale. Such unsold inventory of product is carried on balance sheet as current asset. Company has several expenses that creates liabilities on balance sheet. Expenses like employee benefit and other expenses create short-term or long-term liabilities depending on duration it needs to be settled. The next line item is borrowings. Company borrow money from bank as loan to run daily operation or expansion. This creates long-term financial liability on balance sheet as borrowings. When company choose to borrow money as loan, you must pay interest on borrowings. The interest amount is recorded as finance cost on income statement. Let's talk about fixed assets now. Company invest in fixed assets that helps to generate revenues. This includes assets like property, plant, machinery, equipment, vehicles, furniture and so on. These assets have finite estimated life and its value is depreciated over the time. Amortization is a similar concept for intangible assets like patents, trademarks and so on. This depreciation and amortization shown as expense on income statement. Finally, if you remember total income minus expenses gives you profit before tax. After subtracting taxes, you get net income of the company. The part of net income gets added to the company's retained earnings. This is also known as shareholders' equity. I hope this session helped you to understand relationship between income statement and balance sheet. They are closely connected in many ways. Thank you.